life does not begin at 40. It sure does not begin at 53. Life begins at Calvary. Eternal life. To go to heaven is you must have a date in your life that you came to the suffering, dying Savior on Calvary. And when you saw that suffering, dying Savior named Jesus, and you watched them put him in the tomb, and you were amazed that three days and three nights later he came out of that tomb, and the word was, he is not here. He is risen. And you said with your heart, I believe in that Jesus. I believe he died. I believe he was buried. And I believe he came out of that grave that he is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. I believe on that date is the date that you were born again. That your name was written down in the Lamb's book of life. You became a child of God. The Holy Spirit came in and dwelt in you. You are saved. By your faith and trust upon the finished work of Jesus Christ. On the cross. And sealed it with the tomb by rolling that rock away. The world will give you rock and roll, but God gave you the stone that rolled away. A song in your heart and a melody in your soul forever. That's what settles you going to heaven. And it's so simple, the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Going to heaven is only through Jesus. When Jesus said, he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, God. But by me, that's Jesus, not me. Those are the people you won't find in hell. And sorry, those that you'll find in hell, those, I went to church. Church doesn't save you. Church is an assembly of believers for growth. I'm good. You're not good enough. I got my priest. Your priest is a sinner. For all have sinned and come short. How is a sinner going to save you? Sinner. Well, I go into a little telephone booth. I close the door and I tell him my sins. You don't tell them all. You're too embarrassed to tell all your sins. And you're telling your sins to a person who's a sinner. That ain't going to help you. That's like taking a filthy car and driving it into a mud puddle. Look how clean it is. It ain't clean. If we confess our sins, all right, we tell our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Your priest is not just. 
First John one nine. And to cleanse us from all sins. And the Bible speaks about the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That priest ain't the Lamb of God. He's the wolf in sheep's clothing. I wouldn't trust your priest with altar boys. Never mind other sheep. You know, every time they elect a new pope, smoke comes out of the Vatican. <laughs> I wonder what that smoke is. A new pope comes out the front door and dancy girls go out the back door. <laughs> That's not the way of life. Oh, preacher, you're making fun of my religion. Because your religion can't save you. Jesus said on the cross, it is finished. You bake a cake. And you put the cake in the oven, you take the cake out of the oven, and you ice it, and you, and you decorate that cake, you say, it's finished. And I step in the room, and I throw this on it, and I throw that on it, and I, well, what are you doing? Well, I got to add to the, no, what are you adding to the cake for? It was done. What would you do? And salvation by Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ on Calvary, the empty tomb. He said, it is finished. And man in religion says, add good works. The Bible says there is none that doeth good. Wait a minute. When the Bible says there is none that doeth good, you're good. And the Bible says you can't do good. You are incapable of doing what you think you can do that the Bible says you can't do, being good. And what's your standard of good? I did six years of prison ministry. You won't believe what the prisoners in those jails said was good. And if I were to write that list down, what those prisoners said what was good, you would say, hey, that's not good. And if I were to write a list down of what your good is, I would hand that list over to somebody else and say, well, hey, man, that's not good. I don't think it's good to drink and smoke. Some Christians do. The problem is, what does the Bible say? Well, first of all, the Bible says, first of all, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what I'm saying. It's that simple. What have or what will you do with Jesus? That's the question. Well, that Jesus you preach every week, I got to hear that Jesus, that Jesus they're preaching. Well, that's, the, that's the way and the truth and the light. Shame to your church that does not evangelize. Shame to your Christian friends that don't tell you about Jesus. They'll have their day. I tell you uh, about preaching Jesus. I don't do it enough. I don't give Jesus enough time in my life. And you, three hours, four hours I had to hear it. I had to sit here and listen. It ain't enough. But I'm telling you one thing, if you want to go to heaven, you're going to hear all eternity about Jesus. It's forever. You'll hear no worldly garbage in heaven. We don't care about race car fans in, in heaven. We don't care about rock fans. We don't care about nothing but Jesus in heaven. Don't worry about your grass. Don't worry about the traffic in heaven. There'll be no pile up of angels. We won't hear the God-forsaken music that you hear usually on Saturday mornings. 
but you will hear praise and honor to Jesus Christ for all eternity. Are you prudes? Born again, Bible believing Christians. So, what, you just got to piss on everybody else? Go in all the world and preach the gospel. Hmm, like by pissing on everybody else. That's how they take it. That's how they take it. Oh, he's going to separate you by way. He's going to cleave you by way of sword or something like that. Right? No, he saved me by the blood of Jesus Christ. Wait a minute. Are we reading the same Bible? King James 1611. No, he says he's going to divide us. Yeah, those that are unsaved and those that are saved. Those that are unsaved will go into the lake of fire that burns forever. She seems disinterested. Oh, is she? No. Oh. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, Who's this? Who's this and thou shalt be saved. relation to you is this? That's my daughter. Oh. Did you just drag her out here for this? Nope, she came on her own. She just seems disinterested. Well, you don't have people to pass out gospel tracts to in the. What? Tell me about the. Tell me about Jesus. Jesus right. is God. You seem compelled to do it. No, when you compel your children to do things, they don't, they, they have a tendency to counteract you. And then when you come up and say things that you don't know what you're talking about, that's false charges. Perhaps. Ah. I'll see you again. Okay. You're going to be here next week. We can talk again. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses from all sin. There is nothing purer and cleaner than the blood of Jesus Christ. You're not going to get to heaven without the blood of Jesus Christ. 